We're in day four of a five-day immersion with Vemadeva. Mm -hmm. um, what's been your experience so far? Well, first of all, I'm very happy that I came. I'm very grateful. I feel like I'm home. It's even better than I had imagined. I was longing to come here for so long and I was very nervous also in the beginning. <laughs> the days before the immersion started, I was getting really nervous. Um, everything, not only the environment, but the team, the other students, um, Being so close to my teacher is makes me really, really very happy. Yeah. I am going through a Kundalini process, and uh, last year it started with me having physical kriyas, and yeah, so I search for some guidance and also for um, other people maybe going through the same thing like me because it's not so common in a normal society. And so I found Igor on uh, YouTube and I thought it's a, now a very good opportunity to get guidance on the process and also on my spiritual path. And uh, I believe you've done uh, at least one of Igor's online courses, is that right? Yes, yes, I did the Kundalini course, uh, which gave so much knowledge. It's amazing how, wow, it was so many yeah, like, like, like wisdom of thousands of age, because his references is also, it's not, yeah, it's knowledge, very, very beautiful, picked from everywhere. That huge amount picked in the Kundalini course. And it was amazing to also choose yourself the time when you want to, well, when you're ready to listen to it, um, because it's recorded mainly, so. It's, yeah, it's a great opportunity to put it in your everyday life, how you manage to do it. Yeah. Mm. And it helps me here as well, a lot. Mm. I felt from, with the Kundalini course and with reading about Vamadeva, when I was going through my awakening, that he's not trying to sell me anything. He's not a car salesman or <laughs> trying to sell me a house or anything. He's just, this is it. That is, that is what it is. And it's transparent. He's honest and um, I could compare it. Not that I had an experience with another teacher, but what I had found online was um, very confusing and it didn't bring me the peace of mind that I had when I listened to the videos in the online Kundalini course of Amadeva. And how is it meditating with, with other people in, you know, rather than on your own? Does that make a difference? Yes, it def definitely makes a difference. Um, In the beginning it was difficult letting go, even though I said to myself that I should let go and just let everything be and let everything happen that's supposed to happen. That has become easier. Um, I feel also inspired by others that let go and it's funny because from the outside someone might be bothered by the sounds that are made during the meditation but I found them very soothing. I find that during meditation when I hear the sounds which are very wild and everywhere <laughs> it's like I'm riding this wave 
It's very, very soothing and very soft. Even if it's a scream or a cry, it's And every, after every meditation, I feel, the, I feel more connected with everyone, more and more. The meditation here is very different because um, we are in a group setting with other people. And so you feel a kind of a field that's here, an energy field. And so the uh, meditations are more intense. And also, yeah, you come into a trance that I have not experienced before. So before I also meditated, um, followed the Buddhist path and uh, that was completely different. So, and this helps a lot here. You start to not... You, you, you get rid of the normal thoughts you have and it starts that you feel and it's a feeling of everything there's no boundaries like your skin or there's no okay I feel now my foot is hurting or something and it's like a spreading feeling <laughs> and okay. it's like a vibration going Like movements, <laughs> it's hard to describe it even in words. That's why I use my hands now. Um, meditating with in a group of people that also have this experience and who also let go is very soothing and. I noticed that each day I went deeper and deeper into meditation and um, I felt very safe to meditate in this environment, in this group with my teacher so close to me. So. It has also brought me closer to the group. I feel connected with everyone in the room when we're meditating. Um, I feel also that there's less of a difference between me and the others. where in the beginning there was, and now it's becoming less. It feels very safe, yeah. What I connect here is this approach of um, heart-centered consciousness. So this terms, term, when you read it, may sound yeah, nice and fancy, but what is it really when you embody it? And this is what I felt during meditation. So I felt that my heart was uh, opening up and I did not expect that. So I did not even search for that in my mind. It just happened with the help of the field and of others. And uh, yeah, that was very mind blowing <laughs> and um, gives me also some purpose in life again. So I just feel the heart opening up and uh, I had this issue of yeah closing my heart and not trusting people and uh, this experience that was embodied experience um, I feel that the heart is opening and it's very fragile still but um, something that there's a seed now grown uh, or planted and now it can can grow and I, I have a little taste of that, what it's mean to live um, heart-centered. And then also I can bring that into my everyday life. Because I think here, this uh, spiritual work or inner work is so much connected with the everyday normal life. And that's very rare. 
so also the work the, and the teachings of Igor are very like down to earth so and from everyday life like he says a household 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 past so I can relate to that very much during the darshans I realized that a lot of people have been searching for years or went from teacher to teacher and um, as growing up I never really had idols even as a teenager or when I was a young woman or as a grown-up so I, I never never had that I never f was a a follower I don't consider myself now a follower or, or but it's um, I never had this with someone that teaches that I know that um, because he had his own experience he knows what he's talking about he is transparent he's honest he's unbelievably kind and not only showing that to me but also to others um, it is exactly what I need needed at that time and need now and I don't even think that it's a matter of choice for me I can't deny it anymore. So I heard before that when questions are asked, even though they are not your questions, these are questions that answer also your questions that you have. And so I had that experience as well. So there were answers I didn't even search for before. And that resonated a lot with me and also on the physical level. So in the body, I felt that. And uh, yeah, people ask questions I can really relate to and give some answers and but it also hurt so tears are crying and stuff you know it's not all fluffy and rainbows and stuff but that's how life is and that's very good so I actually I'm a little bit excited in the big group sometimes and once I thought about asking a question as well but it didn't come to yet but I will there was a question about um, expressing yourself and being authentic and um, yeah, feeling it in the body when the throat chakra, for example, is uh, closed. So I've, uh, there's blockage here and I feel that as well. I felt that. And the um, question was about, yeah, how can I be brave to express myself and be true and authentic? And uh, the answers were very touching and to um, be brave to let creativity again into my life and that's also a big topic of mine to just be creative and even though if that's not productive in a way at first it just opens the heart and also the the spiritual path so it's so important and it was a wonderful reminder that I um, I hi hi I've hidden myself too too much so time to open up, <laughs> that was very touching.